Alright guys, I'm bringing you a game between Empire Cross and Liquid Hey Pro. This match is on Shakura's Plateau. In the bottom left we do have our yellow Terran player, Empire Cross. And in the top right we do have our blue Zerg, Liquid Hey Pro. I didn't see any other games besides this one singular game. So I think this is just a custom game that was just uh, out there in the wild. Now, if you guys don't know, Empire Cost, very good Terran player. Uh, both of these players do play on the European servers, I believe. Uh, Liquid Hey Pro is part of Team Liquid. I actually was able to meet Liquid Hey Pro at a uh, MLG. He's a really cool guy. I actually really liked his jacket. He <laughs> he wore it everywhere. Uh, and if you guys didn't watch MLG, it was kind of brutal for the t uh, Team Liquid because they had a lot of matches against one another. Even in the open bracket, when open bracket went into pool play, uh, an, even another Team Liquid uh, team member went into the, their Team Liquid pool. So it was pretty brutal, but pretty interesting to w see all them play together. I expect this game to be a fairly long game because they are in cross positions, but it looks like Koss is just going to go for that barracks in the front to block off. Uh, what a lot of players actually like to do uh, in these kind of larger maps is to wall off this ramp down here and just go for the fast expo. But it looks like Koss is just going to go ahead and play safe, going to get the gas after uh, Rax. Hey Pro is going to go ahead and get his hatchery before any spawning pool. Going to be uh, 16, might even go higher. Uh, he doesn't know where his opponent is, but he knows he's not over here. I don't believe this is the MLG version, so he can't be 100% sure he's safe. But um, it's it's you. you if you play the odds, then you really have a better chance of it being safe to take a fast expo like he's doing. And there we go, a 16 uh, pool. It was a 16 gas, I believe, as well. And we're going to go ahead and have a tech lab going on. Probably going to be a reaper out just to scout. A lot of players like to do that. Uh, supply depot over here. And the reason for this is if the incoming overlord is over here, this supply depot will see it. But it looks like he's not going to be able to find his opponent. Uh, Koss is just going to go check at the last position and find him. And it looks like Hey Pro is going to send his a drone to scout as well. Interesting to note, Koss is saving up a lot of minerals. And so is Hey Pro actually. But I think Hey Pro is just going to save up minerals. Just go for that double queen as soon as this uh, spawning pool opens up or comes out. And we should see on the production two queens. Yeah, there we go. Something I like to do as well. And I think uh, Hey Pro is just going to go ahead and drone from here. Koss is playing kind of uh, kind of risky, but I guess he did get the full scout on. He did know the timing of this. And we do have Zergling Speed on the way. One uh, drone still in the extractor. Oh, I was about to say, uh, at, actually at MLG, I saw uh, more than a few Zergs actually doing that, keeping that drone into the extractor just in case they needed a nice transition into Banelings or Roaches. But it looks like he did pull off. Gonna get one drone kill. No, not one. Gonna get ah one drone kill. Queen did come out, and Zerglings, six Zerglings are here. Gonna ooh two drone kills, and that is gonna go ahead and fall. We do have another barracks coming up. No uh, factory yet. I actually would expect the factory to come up soon. He does have 150 gas right now, and he is stacking up uh, quite a few SCVs. There we go. Factory is gonna go down. Gonna take the second gas right now. Very nice. No other gases for Hey Pro up yet. He's going to play that safe style of macro Zerg. Not going to do anything too crazy right now. Does have a lot of links. Should actually go for that. Uh, ooh, actually the Reaper did not die. Very nice control by Koss. And it looks like uh, or the command center did finish. Koss is just going to go ahead and get that bunker at the front to be safer. But again, a bunker at the front doesn't necessarily mean that you're safe from Zergling run bys and such. It just means that you could be, they might run away after seeing that bunker. And it looks like the Reaper's gonna go ahead and try and get a couple more kills. Hey Pro does have this queen here in a nice position, but we'll see. Reaction speed, very nice from both players. And it looks like <laughs> Hey Pro's just gonna go ahead and check in the front with those Lings. Gonna see a bunker, and yeah, there we go. Lings did get in, gonna take out the mule, very nice. And gonna go ahead and look at what his opponent has. Starport, two racks, one factory. Take out the other mule. Oh, can he do it? Nope. Gonna lose these lings. 
One Ling does run away, and yep, all the Lings are dead. Hapro going for a fast third as well. Interesting. And it looks like Hapro knows about Koss's, uh Reaper. Reaper still alive. Very nice control by Koss. 8 p.m. right now. In the hundreds for both players. Uh, Harvester count right now is heavily in favor of Hapro. Hapro needs to finally just get rid of this guy. Uh, 13 Harvesters up for Hapro. But Koss does have that um, tech advantage right now. He does have a medevac coming out. A, a decent amount of Marines right now. Unit count, 11 Marines to 2 Queens and 45 Drones. Holy cow. And uh, we do have Tank coming out, but no Siege Tech. Uh, interesting to note, if you guys... <laughs> I keep on referencing MLG, sorry guys, but... Um, ooh, nice. Going to be able to pick off 2... No. Yeah, 2. There we go. Nice. But um, one of the cool things that I saw at MLG that was used a lot was the Slayer's... Uh, build and by that it was what I mean is they went for Hellions with Marines and a medevac and just it wrecked uh, the Zergs in their pool play and the people that I saw use it most was uh, MMA and Boxer very nice play uh, Boxer did use it uh, spoilers if you guys don't haven't watched but Boxer did use it to 2-0 uh, or uh, Idra and I don't know I thought it was interesting but it looks like Koss is just going to go for that Siege Tank tech. We do have a... Where did the Marines go, actually? We're, oh, we are going to have a drop right here. Stim did finish. And a lot of damage is going to be done. Might be able to take out a Queen. No. Oh, just a couple of Zerglings. Not enough to prevent any damage. No! Drones, what are you doing? Oh, going to get the surround. But the these links are here, so I don't know why. Ah, oh, man. If Hapro would have waited a little, he could have saved a lot more of those drones, but he still has a four drone lead right now. Gonna probably re-drone a bunch. Sp uh, Spire it did just went, go down. We do have a Bailing's Nest. And uh, plus one melee uh, going up for Hapro. And he it looks like he is gonna go ahead and just uh, macro up, get all of his bases into the nice saturation. And it looks like Cost is just going to use these marines to scout, see what his opponent's doing. Uh, this queen, actually I don't know if this queen could do as much DPS as these three marines. And yeah, the queen should back up, just let those zerglings take care of it. And he's going to try to save his marines. No dice. Medivac is saved though. And we do have, oh, a viking. Just going to go ahead and go out and chill. Another base coming out for Koss. Probably going to be turned into a um, planetary fortress. We do have plus one melee going up right here. And it looks like Overlord is just going to go ahead and sacrifice himself. See if he can see anything. Won't be able to see too much. And we do have a lot of Zerglings just running around the map doing what they can. Pretty nice creep spread going on by uh, Haypro. He does have that designated pooper right there. And so far, I think all of his bases are pretty much saturated. A lot of lings in the main. Uh, actually, this base could use uh, more drones, but it's okay for now. He does have that economy advantage right now. 65 to 51. Should see meals coming down. There we are. There are. Uh, no mutas out yet, actually. Or none that I've seen. Yeah, no mutas in production either. Uh, would like to see some banelings being produced right now. Because you never know when that push is coming. That push is actually coming right now. Koss is, I think he's going to try to do the elevator trick, but this is kind of awkward angles to do that. And, ooh, going to take out the creep. Nice. Two creep tumors take it out. I might be able to take out another one. No, Zuckling is just going to go ahead and fill it. Fills it. Ooh, nice elevator play by Koss. Uh, that wasn't the elevator play I was going to talk about. I was saying he could do it right here, but there'd be like no point because he can't hit anything useful. Ooh, another drop in this, in this third right here. Nice play by Koss. But nice, oh, nice positioning on the ramp. But I don't know why he, uh, he he went ahead and backed out. Because against those Zerglings, that ramp is actually in a pretty ideal position. Uh, Hapro's going to lose a couple of overloads right now and lose this Creep Tumor. No, Creep Tumor does finish. And uh, just a couple of Marines died. We do have Banelings out. Banelings Speed has finished. No mutas yet. And it's like Koss is just going to go ahead and try to take out all these Creep Tumors. Very smart play by him. Ooh, actually a flock of mutas right now. No, you got to send in the Zerglings and the Banelings. Uh, actually, if he knows that, if he if he saw this uh, those tanks right there, I would say he should take them out. But I don't don't believe he knows about them. And oh, uh, Hey Pro's gonna do some interesting maneuver. 
just gonna go straight for the main base but there are a lot of uh, buildings uh, a couple turrets in the way and it looks like uh, Koss does have Hapro on the ropes right now pretty nice position from Koss and ooh mutas against Marines not the best trade needs to just back out we do have more mutas on the way plus two attack uh, should be seeing carapace soon and need more zerglings gonna get two more hatches a macro hatch as well as this fourth hatch uh, he does have the queen for that macro hatch as well but he really wants to get those creep tumors back up and get more of that uh, vision and it looks like mutas are just gonna run around the map just see what they can do Another drop inside the main. Stim's going on. Gonna try to take out as many drones as possible, but nice control by Hapro. Gonna be able to see it. Gonna push in. Reaper taken out by uh, Hapro. And might be able to take out this medevac as well. Needs to pull back. Very nice control by Hapro. And it, this is a pretty tense situation right now because uh, Koss has him on in the controlled position right now. And another drop by Koss. But unfortunately, these drops by Koss aren't doing as much damage as he would like. They're actually doing very minimal damage. And Koss is just going to pull this up and just back away. Uh, more, another medevac going to be taken. No, he's just going to pull back. And it looks like Hapro is going to check if he has a fourth or a uh, third over here. But I think he should know about this, uh, these two bases right there. No, yeah, he does know about this base. This better be good. And Muta just going to keep on going, going around, trying to do what they can. This is a decent amount of meters right now. He has four more on the way still. Uh, fairly wide open tanks in the middle, but actually Koss has a lot of Marines to back him up. Very nice. Going to be able to take out a decent amount of Marines and a medevac. Ooh, and I think Hapro is just going to go ahead and try to go in for the main. No, going to do a decent amount of damage on that turret. Need to pull back all these Marines to defend. Ooh, going to take out the fourth. Ah, Koss really needs to save this and it's gonna go ahead and go down and Koss did just go into the supply block and these tanks are freely open now if Haypro knows anything if, he's, if he suspects anything all these tanks are gonna go down and there we go Muta's on the way oh <laughs> Koss in a precarious position and like I was saying ooh actually sorry my bad I didn't even see this medevac drop in the fourth right here did take out the fourth probably took out a lot of drone <laughs> little party right there but uh, Hapro, I think, took the best of that. Did clean up that middle army. Koss still hasn't taken these gas right now. Taking back his another base. And we should be seeing this base rem being remade right now from Hapro. Probably going to throw it down. Carapace, level 1. And uh, Flyer Carapace is on the way. And another push coming out from Koss. Hapro has a lot of mutas right now, though. I'm liking it a lot. A lot of banelings and uh, zerglings as well. Army count uh, fairly even for both players, but I think I would say Hapro has a larger army. Food count is in favor of Hapro, and he's just gonna lose a lot of marines right here. Banelings! Oh, I think this is GG for Koss. He just lost way too much right there. Banelings being used on Mech, not the best idea. Gonna lose the medevacs as well as a lot of marines. And what does Koss have right here? He could lift up these uh, supply depots, but then he just leave this base open. So. I don't know. This is a decent amount of banelings. I don't know if it's enough to take out down uh, a base like that. I don't think so. And it looks like Hapro's just going to take his advantage. Just back out. Pretty smart of him. He has a supply lead right now. Very minimal, but still a decent supply lead. Going to get that fourth back up. Going to take a fifth as well. And I think Hapro has ninja senses right here. Going to know that this base is here. Oh, he does actually. He has this uh, control tower. Was able to see it. And bye-bye second fourth of Koss's Marines are on their way but not on their way enough and Koss is just going to go ahead and break the rocks very bad, Ooh, he does have another base though so we'll see what happens um, both players actually have a lot of minerals in <laughs> Hapro has 4,000 minerals but he is almost maxed out right now he is at 180 supply going to go ahead and run in hey, uh, Koss needs to pull back into this planetary fortress and Hapro's just gonna go ahead and go into the main. Very smart decision. Look how much he could kill right now. Gonna take out the armory. Take out the armory. It's about to finish. Oh, one upgrade does finish, and the upgrade other upgrade is canceled. And it looks like Cost knows that the only thing he can do right now is just push. And Hapro is gonna back out. I would like to see more damage from Hapro. He does have the larger army, so 
I mean, you could trade uh, your mutas for uh, all these production facilities and uh, supply depots, but I guess not. Planetary Fortress on the way. We do have Infestors and Burrow on the way, so we might see some shenanigans with some uh, some uh, Burrow playing with Infested Terran. But actually, if he gets a nice fungal on these Marines right here, it might be GG. I mean, ooh, actually, Koss has more more food count right now than his opponent and it'll be interesting to see this is a pretty bad choke right here but uh, I don't know what Hapro is going to plan to do he does not want to move it here what are you doing Hapro no oh my god that was kind of bad that was so bad oh and these breeds are all not dead they're half dead oh that was so bad and what I mean by that is all Koss did was invite his opponent into this choke and all those tanks just ripped on those Bane Links. He's going to lose his fourth right here. Or he's going to lose his fifth base right here, actually. But if he gets a decent round of Zerglings, 60 Zerglings on the way, he should be able to clean it up with those Mutas. All these Marines are half dead, so just a couple hits on them. Will do damage. Needs to bring in the Mutas and... Oh! Marines are just scaring him off right now. These Marines are 1-1. One, one. Uh... Bad play by Haypro, I would say. And Koss is already in a major supply lead. Wow, so many Marines! <laughs> 81 Marines! <laughs> um, this will be pretty interesting to see. I think Koss has just secured himself the lead. I thought Haypro had it, but I don't know. That was a really bad engagement for our Zerg player. And it looks like he's just going to try to counterattack. Smart decision, actually. There's only a couple of, uh, of these missile turrets out. And it looks like the 6th base for Haypro is going to go down, as well as a drop in this 4th base. A lot of uh, spy cars are out, though, for our Zerg player. And it looks like, oh, from behind, needs to get those Bailings hit, but no, nice focus by those tanks. And, oh, Fungal! Oh, but still, I think these Marines are going to die. No, Marines are so resilient right now. Fungal did go down. Another Fungal on these, on these backup Marines should end that. And there we go, but still, Koss is in a pretty fit major supply lead, and he's doing a lot of drone damage right here. Uh, fifth base is trying to go back up for Hapro, but right now, Koss has a, a fourth to uh, Hapro's fourth, so I don't know, kind of risky. Actually, Hapro doesn't even have his fourth anymore. It's being in contention. And I think Koss is just going to try to uh, uh, pick him up. Leave. No mutas to deny this. Uh, we do have, uh, I thought we saw the Greatest Spire on the way. Oh, Greatest Fire did finish, actually, so we might be seeing some Broodlords coming up soon. And two Medivac drop right now, as well as the Lone Siege Tank that he could do work. I don't know what that Siege Tank thinks he's going to do. He's taken out, and another push by Koss right now. Hey, bro, needs to... Ooh, so many drones dying. Needs to pull these Marine, or Zerglings back out. Are going to do some damage, but not enough. Nice positioning by Koss. All the Zerglings are going to be taken out. And I think this base is gone. Oh, actually, no. Fungal! Fungal, fungal! And we'll be able to save it. Might. Ooh, <laughs> lost the Infestor. Not the best of plays. And it looks like he did clean that up. But, ooh, Koss does have another base. Ha <laughs> ha! Die, Zergling! And it looks like Koss is just gonna go ahead and land that. Get his other base up. Oh, but another army up for Koss. I don't know what the Zergling's here for. Maybe for scouting? But, ooh, gonna move in prematurely. Not the best of decisions. Gonna lose a lot of Infestors. Oh, but he did kill all the Marines, so should be able to clean it up. Very nice. He needs to take out the tanks, actually. The tanks are doing so much damage. And actually, Haypro did clean it up. Uh, Koss does still have the major supply lead. Income tab show. Ooh, actually, it's because Koss has 91 Harvesters to Haypro 69. So. They do have pretty even supply, but I don't know. Broodlords are out. Medivac dropped it. Cleaned up. Ooh! Koss needs to finish that off. 17 health left. And it looks like Hapro is going to run out of minerals at this uh, base. And actually, Hapro's mining off of only really two bases. I would say this isn't even fully saturated, and this isn't even a full base right now. And, ooh, going to do a lot of damage. Bailing! Runs! STVs! Actually! That might not be too bad for our Terran player. He did clean up a lot of supply. Ooh, Bane Link's nice hit. Fungal grows. Fungal's gonna go down. Clean up all these Marines. And 
I would like to see Hapro throw down a lot of infested turn right now, but no, not gonna risk it. And I was gonna say that's that might be uh, not a bad, so bad of a trade because Cost doesn't really need that many SCVs right now. At least not in my opinion. Ooh, Broodlord's gonna be taken. No, not gonna be taken out. Very nice positioning by Hapro at the last minute. Gonna be able to defend that off with those infestors as well. Uh, no reason for him to go after this base though, because that base is completely mined out. Uh, Cost is mined out in his natural, his main, his third, and he's gonna start working down on his fourth right now. Doing a lot of damage, and that does go down. Fungals, nice fungals. Need to throw down one more fungal, I think. There it is. Save this infester. Yeah, very nice. And these walking or these flying tanks for Hapro are gonna do a lot of work right now. Should uh, I don't know. I want him to go against this base, but I guess he doesn't need to. And the base did go down for Hapro, so he needs to remake this base. Needs to get a fifth as well. And this medevac drop is still alive. Gonna do some more damage down here. <sighs> Twenty more zerglings on the way. Uh, count right now: sixty-nine harvesters, two sixty-three. Gonna kill out more. No mining from this base right here. Long distance mining from the other. One queen cannot save that. Focusing down the queen. Nice play by Koss. Wow, Koss's micro is amazing. And this base is gonna go ahead and go down. No, actually, I was looking at the wrong thing. Forever SCV repair. One, <laughs> one Viking thought she, she, he could win, but no, you can't. You can't Viking. Come on. Another drop gonna go in for Koss. Ooh, he does have. He already has one right here. Koss is all over the map right now, guys. Playing very nicely. His APM right now is in the 250s. Average is 163. Hapro's gonna pull back, but mining time is lost. I, I don't know though, because uh, as I was saying earlier, I think the cost of losing a medevac drop if you don't do a lot of damage is like, um, I believe it's around like 500 or 600 minerals. Another drop that's gonna happen in the main. Should actually focus fire the infestation pit or the spawning pool. Either would be a really good choice right now. And he's going to alert his opponent to the fact that those units are there. Zerglings are just going to rush in. And ooh, going to focus on Bainings Nest. I don't know if that's the best uh, decision. And I don't want to criticize, but the only reason I say that is you take out the spawning pool, how is he going to make Bainings, right? I mean, he has Zerglings out on the map, but if you kill those, then he can't make Bainings without, without any Zerglings, you know? But uh, both players playing at a very high level right now. I would say Hapro has the lead, but again, with these Marines, anything can happen. A lot of drops coming in for costs. I think too many drops, because I don't know. Um, actually, if he gets all these drones, then that could be huge for him. And those medevacs are on their way. Nice control. And it looks like we're going to have another engagement in this front. Ooh, gonna focus the no should focus the brood lords, but not doing so. And all the Vikings did go down. Ooh, Marines need to move in the Bailings and Zerglings. And ooh, none of the brood lords died actually. And look at this, so many drones dying. A uh, very nice play by both players. Units lost tab is definitely favoring uh, Hapro right now. He's on a he's gonna go ahead and move into his opponent's base. And there we go, another engagement at the front. Workers killed so far is 85 to 53. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Um, Cost is just going to lose this base, I think. I don't know what he could do right now. He's, lost, he's wasted so much money on these drops. And Zerglings do finish that off. I don't know, it's just so many wasted uh, units, you know? So many wasted minerals. Uh, we do have more units over here. It needs to spend these Zerglings. Ooh, all the Broodlords did go ahead and die. Very nice play by Koss. He is able to clean that up. And actually, Koss is the only one producing anything right now. Hapro has no gas incoming right now. That is going to be huge. Oh my god, Hapro. You can't make any more Broodlords or anything. I don't know if he's aware of that either. He doesn't have any gas right here. Oh my god, this is going to be bad. And it looks like Infestitarian is going to do some damage right here. But Marines are going to be here to clean it up. And oh man, if this is a, if that does it for Hapro, I'll feel so bad. All he needs to send is some units on those gas. 
And he has a lot of units he's not using right now. Ah, oh, gotta be careful of your unit, man. And I think Kosh took the strong lead right here. If you'll notice, Hapro's not producing anything right now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's still not aware of the gas problem. And he's just going to go ahead and force himself in here. Not the best of decisions. Uh, siege tanks are in a perfect position to do a lot of damage. And ooh, all of his army died. 66 supply, 2, 162 right now. GG from Hey Pro. And that's it. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Barney signing off.